Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I wanted to take you along for the ride because I am going to be repotting this uh, Rex begonia. This was a propagation, leaf propagation. I put into some, I believe, acrylic yarn and it did well. It went a little dormant for a minute. It's starting to grow again, but um, I think that I'm not sure if it's that I'm not watering it enough that it goes dormant and, you know, I have to keep checking to see. So I'm going to put it in one of my self-watering situations. If you uh, remember, I've made some videos on these before. So I figured it's already in the yarn. So I'm just going to pull the whole root ball out in the yarn. I'm not going to remove it from the yarn, but I'm going to look for the ends of the yarn to then... Um, push through some of these drainage holes and then I'll fill this up with water and then I'll add some nutrients and then we'll be good to go because all of my begonias in the acrylic in self-watering are doing amazing. They do amazing. So here we go. It's going to be real easy. I just hope I don't damage the plant too much because it's kind of, it's hard when it's in a bowl like this. Let me take my hand out of the way. All right. And if you know anything about Rex begonias, which I'm sure a lot of you do, they're very shallow rooted. So um, you're not gonna have roots circling around and around at the bottom of the container. Let me get this back so you guys can see better. Okay. So um, I found one end here. Let me find, here's the other end here. That was easy. <laughs> the roots are primarily isolated to the the top portion of where the plant was coming out, which is right in here. I don't want to move it too much because it'll definitely remove, uh, pull itself away from the yarn. So I'm going to just stick this through like that. You guys have seen this before. If you've watched the videos, it is nothing new here, but I figured it's time to do this because I don't want to have to keep worrying about this variety. I don't even remember what variety this is because the leaves haven't matured to a large size yet. And that's another reason why I want this to, uh, I wanted to put this in a self-watering because it'll definitely help it um, develop and mature. So now I'm gonna take the plant that's almost completely out of the yarn, as you can see, very easy for it to remove itself. And I'm going to kind of wrap the yarn around it again, just to make sure that all those roots are gonna be covered. And I'm going to Put it into. Oh my God, there's so much yarn here. I wonder if I have too much. Nah, I can make it work. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna tuck it in. Make sure that none of the leaves are gonna be tucked in. Like that, and like this. There we go, nice and snug. The good thing about the self-watering, using the the uh, acrylic yarn as self-watering, is that. It doesn't ever over or under water. It is just the perfect amount of water that you need. It's amazing how it works, but it works. And I only say that because I've had so much success so far. Um, I went from just growing these plants, whether it was coleus or rex begonia or anything else, in just a plastic cup, like disposable plastic cup with yarn in it, to now, um, moving on up to the east side. No, I'm kidding. Moving on up to uh, having them in self-watering setups. Okay. Here it is. This is what it looks like. <laughs> that was easy. Okay, I have the wick going down to the very bottom with a little extra slack down there. And I don't know if you guys can see the plant too. It's going to be a beautiful plant when it gets a little more mature. And again, it hasn't been maturing because it's been inconsistent. Um, the lighting, the watering, and also, I don't know, just being in this bowl. Something about this. I thought it would be good because it would prevent a lot of moisture from leaving since it kind of tapers in a little. But I don't know. I just feel like every other plant that I have in other things that aren't this <laughs> seem to do fine. So it was time. So now... Now that we've got this baby in the self watering, I'm going to go over to the sink, but I'm not going to take you with me. I'm going to get some water. And 
start to fill up the reservoir. But I'm going to do it from the top just to water in all the roots that have been kind of displaced. Okay, like so. The great thing is with these self-watering, and I think I've said it before, because of how big I have this reservoir, you really don't have to water very often. Like I've had two, three weeks, maybe even a month for some plants, they don't drink that quickly. And the water doesn't evaporate that quickly because it's in high humidity area, between 50 and 70% usually. So there you have it. Okay, we have the reservoir up here. I have about an inch, so there's some airflow. This is not completely snug, so there's also air exchange. I love that these three and a half inch pots fit perfectly the way I need them on these. Um, <laughs> these are just like indoor, outdoor, seasonal plastic glasses, plastic cups, I guess. Um, if you have like, you know, a bar outside or whatever, or patio furniture. These are fantastic. I love them. Um, if it's off season, just an FYI, you can get these a lot of times at uh, thrift stores, things like that. Um, but you can also get something similar at like dollar stores, okay? So there you have it. This one will do perfectly fine. And now that it's taller, it'll even be closer to the light. So it's gonna do great. It has a lot of leaves. Let me bring the camera close so you can see. It has a lot of leaves. Um, as you can see, it just keeps throwing out leaves and throwing out leaves, new leaves, new leaves. But they're not maturing enough, or at least not quick enough for me, like some of my other plants are. So I figured, let's do something about it. Maybe it has to do with the airflow around the leaves, because it was in this bowl. Maybe, I don't know. But I will definitely do a follow-up to show you how great this plant is going to do in this setup. And again, this just kind of sits on the top lip of this cup. It doesn't even fit perfectly because it wasn't obviously made for this, but it's exactly what I need. So there you have it. We just did a repot, guys. Aren't you proud of me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, if you have any questions about this growing method, about this um, self-watering planter creation that I did, um, you know, a lot of people do similar things. Nothing really unique about it, except the medium I'm using it is very unique because no one else is doing it, except for you guys now that have been watching, which I think is so cool. It's so awesome. Uh, I love hearing about your successes. Uh, so many people have reached out and um, I made a lot of friends here. It's just so awesome. And the fact that you guys are having the same success that I am, it that makes me really happy. So that is it. If you have any questions on any of this stuff, um, obviously reach out if you have not don't forget to like comment share and subscribe hit that bell if you want to be notified and i will see you in the next video